Hello everybody and welcome back to the probably this time last episode of this Archon Quest because it's not quite sure if I am going to be done with this Archon Quest just yet. Maybe one or two other videos since I did last uh, the last video. Oh, sorry if you remember from the last video, everything is it seems that Sumaru is at peace now. We check on Kole and Tagnari in the in, in their base or in the village there where we first arrived. Then we let's go to the Grand Bazaar and see how the celebration's coming along. Okay. Just a moment, Paimon. Um so yeah, we check on them and it seems that they are doing really great. Unfortunately, it seems that they won't be attending the feast since they are busy dealing with the scholars and everyone else that has uh, from the academia that is going there into the forest to meditate, uh, to redeem themselves from their actions. Uh, we check on Dunior Sad and Dia, and it seems that Dia is leaving, unfortunately, Dunior Sad, since she needs to be like out in the wilderness, technically, in order to like still fight and whatnot. It's a little heartbreaking because It seems that Dunior Sat was like growing fond of her, but uh, I guess you can't like keep a person or anything just like with you together at least for too long. She did say that she wanted to at least be with Dunior Sat at least until she recovered. And now that it's done, she may have to go out there. We also check on Sino, Raman, and also we run into Setaria in in the desert in Aru village, and it seems that things in the desert will change for good as well. <clears throat> Setaria will have will have other like mercenaries teach uh, other people from the desert about things from the academia, which they made it sound like a good thing, and I think it's really a good thing too. They, and they won't be relying too much on pulling themselves into in danger <laughs> to get boots or any knowledge that they can and everything is just doing a-okay so now let's go to the grand bazaar and attend the feast that nilo will be uh, is hosting for us the saviors of sumeru city you could say Oh, it's guy. Oh, it's there. In the stage. Things loading. I don't... Oh, the... uh, here we are. Ah, also, I hate him. It's a little busy right now. Since we are... they are still looking for like six grand sages from the other six academias. But I guess that's another thing that he needs to like do. Now, let's see what this is. I'm here. Ah, there you are. <laughs> did he say... Did he say I'm here? <laughs> Why again the... the, the... <laughs> Alright. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Well, look who finally decided to show up. You look like you came here immediately after finishing up some work. I'm very happy to see you here. Like, we're not late, are we? It's just that everyone else arrived ahead of time. I propose that the last one who arrived be put in charge of today's speeches. Oh, and you just said that? Come on! Nah, there won't be any speeches today. Oh, really? Well, even better. Come join us over here. Let's share some great food and drinks and chat about all sorts of fun things. Everything looks quite good. Wow! Hyman can't wait! Traveler, just look at all the delicious food here! Ah, typical Paimon. Delicious! Oh, 
Oh, this grilled meat tastes amazing! Did I really not show up for a performance? Or am I really going to show it now? The food was specially prepared for you by everyone in the Grand Bazaar. And we have gifts that were sent by the residents of Sumeru City when they heard we were holding a feast. Everyone that came said that you saved Sumeru and wanted me to thank you all on their behalf. Ah, feels kind of nice to be seen as a hero. I could get used to this. Being a bodyguard is also a hero's job. You've always been amazing, Dia. <laughs> there. Well, kind of. Well, that is a really good compliment, but <laughs> she's really trying hard for Dia to not go. She really is trying hard, my God. <laughs> my lady sure has a way with words. Thanks. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm happy to meet everyone that participated in the great plan. Don't mention it. Come to think of it, we've really done something impressive together. It's unbelievable. We owe it to our abilities. And luck. Really? Why do I remember everybody thinking that luck was against us and feeling like we hardly had a chance of succeeding? That's how I remember it, too. It's luck that brought us together, and it was luck that let us form a team. Then, it took even more luck for us to formulate a plan and implement it successfully. I think I'll hate some that. I, I want to relate it more of something about fate. Maybe um, luck wasn't... I mean, luck... I don't think that it was luck that brought us together. I think it was more than fate. And also, to form a team. Maybe to formulate a plan and implement it, to implement it successfully, most likely, it was lucky. It was so lucky in that like matter. But I don't think that uh, that to meet together and form a team, I think it was more of a matter of fate rather than luck. Moreover, judging from the results, everything worked out well. Yeah. Everyone gave it their all when it mattered most. It was almost like a performance. We took the stage and put on our best show. Everyone played their part. And thanks to everyone's efforts, the performance was a great success. So, would you say we're good actors too? Hmm. <laughs> good actors. <laughs> That's... One more talent under our belt. <laughs> well, technically speaking, it, well, it was some sort of play, but implemented in whatever plan and everything we have to do in order to save Lesser Lorcus Mali and save Sumer City and the Bat even. It's such a blessing that Lesser Lord Kusanali was able to return to power at the Academia. Yes. Even after being abandoned and neglected so many times, she's finally returned. Returned to the Academia? Abandoned and neglected? Oh, she, yeah, she does, she, they don't know, they, 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 she, yeah, right. Uh-huh, lesser Lord Kusanali once used all her power in a great disaster, which resulted in her losing all her wisdom and memories of the past. The Academia basically abandoned her because of it. This should be something everybody should remember. Huh? You look surprised. I didn't say anything wrong, did I? <laughs> what was wrong with your face? That's why she's the queen of expressions. I love it. Oh, but... I mean, I am the only one that I remember the thing. Even from books I see it was like Mm, the things from Greater Lord Rukadabata, the, the memories, her f persona was also like, um, it disappeared. And, and that makes sense. It's obviously that happened because that's what happened in our time in Ermonso. But why do I look so impressed? Don't I remember? Or what happened in, in after the... We met with the after Nahida met with the doctor uh, uh, and passing out in our dreams. Well, we got knocked out by it. Uh, 
We don't remember or what? I don't remember or what because yeah, in, we were there. Let's start with Kusumali. At last, like took her, uh, erase where the Ro Lord Rikodabata from the Ermansol, like uh, and yeah, from Ur Ermansol. <laughs> but yeah, I am. <laughs> why am I impressed? No, everything you said is correct. <sighs> That's good. Something wrong? Yeah, what's with that face? You knew all of this already. Not quite. I know something else. Don't mind me. My my mind was elsewhere. Also, it's like the result of traveling in time or something. But this happened in a consciousness or in, or something. Since I am not from the from the from the world, I remember something else rather than that what they are telling me. <clears throat> Even if those two giants of the academia are here, I still have to say it. Those sages really have some nerve. Five hundred years ago, Lesser Lord Kusanali used all her power for the people of Sumeru, and what did they do in return? So it seems that after everyone, everyone forgot where their Lord Rukadavata, their understanding of Sumeru's history has also changed. Yeah, that's what happened. Well, if you erase from and from the equation or some someone or something from an equation, you need to find a way to connect the missing dots. So that's where, what they are doing. They are thinking that Lesser Lord Kusumali was not born, but however, used all of her power to contain the, um, the illness that kept the uh, Ermon soul and was treated unfairly by the sages. Now every, everybody, everyone believes that Lesser Lord Kusumali has been Sumer's Archon all along. Maybe I'm the only one in all Tevat who remembers that Greater Lord Rukodobata ever existed. Yeah, she even said that her own existence of Greater Lord, Lord Rukodobata is some kind of pollution, corruption <laughs> for, for Ermon Sol and Tevat, maybe? That's what they said. Well, okay. Yeah, since I am not from this world, uh, everyone else and she even said it that was, uh, was supposed to forget her even at um, archives and, and everything as a witness of all that happened I shall respect her choice and keep it a secret for her yes and also it could put everyone at, again at a great risk so I better keep my mouth shut in this secret. If you bite the hand that feeds you, don't act surprised when it turns into a knuckle sandwich, right, Sino? Perhaps I shouldn't say this, but their treatment of Lesser Lord Kusanali calls for a more severe punishment. You could simply tell Lesser Lord Kusanali that you wish to have Azar and his accomplices severely punished. I respect our deity's decision and won't interfere in any way. While we're on this topic, why didn't you accept the Academia's invitation to become the Grand Sage? Are you trying to say that I'm fit to be a sage? <laughs> Not at all. But every person handling this election process has said that you are the most suitable candidate to lead the Academia right now. Why? Because he dethroned Azar from power? We all did, but, um, truth be told, he's the most, like, capable person. But like he said, he's a planner, a strategist, not a leader. <clears throat> Could you try to put it another way? This is a good thing, yet you're making it sound like I overthrew a czar for my own personal gain. But seriously, though, I always wondered if you had some personal motives behind it. I did have my own motive, but it had nothing to do with being a sage. If the rules of our nation were suddenly cast by the wayside, then it wouldn't be long until chaos ensued. I had no intention of letting their dreams disrupt my life. 
By that, you mean your life working as the Academia's scribe. Precisely. Uh huh? Wait, is that all? So, that's the only reason why you joined us and came up with all those plans? It's reason enough. You've certainly got quite the personality. You flatter me. All right then, how about you? You've already resumed work as the General Mahamatra, right? That's right. Will you be happy with that life? It's not about being happy. There are merely a lot of things that I must do. Even so, keep your spirits up and try to be happy, okay? And try to smile more every day, just like I'm doing now. <sighs> Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so it's it seems that it's quite done. Oh wait. Where is Dia? Oh there she is. Okay, first with our uh, Heisan. I seldom participate in such lively gatherings, but the atmosphere here is quite good. Oh, I thought you might find it boring. <laughs> I mean, at least he does find a little bit of an experience here, so that's a little something there. No, this gathering today has a unique meaning. The Grand Bazaar is lively because the people here feel happiness from the bottom of their hearts, unlike the farces at the Academia. That happiness is an emotion that'll be forever alien to those bookworms who have driven themselves insane by studying. Hmm. I seem to have taken both keys when I left the house. <laughs> oh well. What? <laughs> what was all that sensation? Okay, sensation, I mean. <laughs> well, conversation, more likely. Okay, Sino, what do you have to say? The atmosphere here is good. And everything is delicious. Well, that's quite nice to hear. It must be great to see you at such lively gathering. <laughs> yeah. I don't often come to such places. But it feels quite good. I have a lot to handle these days. Otherwise, I could show you around. Well, don't worry about us. I mean, I, I can do it by, for myself. Uh, and good luck there. <laughs> There's always next time. We're friends after all. <sighs> this feast is pretty good. I like it. That's again good to hear. And yes, I hope we see each other in the next time, my friend. Okay, now what Dunior Satandia has got to say. My lady, the grilled meat over there is delicious. Have you tried it? Yes, I also tried some fruit just now. Oh, they're very sweet. What an amazing place to relax. No wonder everybody likes to rest at the Grand Bazaar. You said it. Oh, look who else is here. Hello. Oh, I'm so happy Nilu invited everybody. Oh, now I have the chance to meet all the heroes. Yes, it, it's my it's my pleasure. And I'm glad we, we could come. Yeah, after having such like a big like task to do we finally are able to meet everyone again and have a little time for ourselves to just relax talk have fun eat and everything <laughs> most than most things that <laughs> happened to us really didn't work well in the other nations then after defeating the volume bent is not the patrol attacked us and much more then we had a celebration in, in Lire and also well, there was um, a conversation during the, well, yeah, everything was like resolved also in Inazuma, but it was not quite as good as what we are having here. At least it feels like this is finally resolving and everything, like a really good closure instead of the other like acts and chapters. I am really quite liking this. Hey, less of that polite chit chat and more eating and drinking. The feast is about having fun, not stuffy formalities. 
Yes, yeah, yes, yes, you, you want to drink, okay. Oh, and last but not least, Nilu. Ah, there you are, traveler. Well, how is it? Are you enjoying the feast today? If there's anything you're unhappy with, just let me know. I'll be sure to take note of it. Nothing at all. And, and, and thank you. It's, it's really great, this, this little reunion party that we are having. Feast, I mean. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> That's good. It's the first time I've ever invited so many exceptional people to one place. I was a little nervous myself. You see, every guest here is quite extraordinary. It's unbelievable that we've got everyone together here. Almost like a fairy tale. Make sure you live it up tonight. I'll be happy as long as you're enjoying yourselves. Oh yeah, we have also a, mes a message to tell you from Setaria. You know the the the, the, the scholar and secretary from the from the Grand Sage that wanted to cancel everything and pro and make an, a prohibition on this <laughs> stage performances and everything. Honored to have her think of me this way. If I have a chance in the future, I would really like to invite her to one of my performances. I can't explain why, but I just feel elated right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that we're done here. I am sleepy, oh god, I'm suddenly a little sleepy, feels like I'm about to nod off. Wow, this has been a really amazing and exciting thing. <laughs> I am I am suddenly a little sleepy. Hey, you can't just fall asleep here. I'm gonna go find something delicious for you to eat. You wake up once you put something yummy in your tummy. Really? Well, how thoughtful of you, Paimon. But maybe I am trying to... Mm, lesser Larkus and Ali will try to connect with me or something? Who knows? But really? Wow, how generous of you. And kind. Of course! Just wait here for Paimon! Is it because I didn't... Oh, I, I couldn't read! Huh? It seems like someone is there. Oh no. Is it the Baladir? Oh? <laughs> it's me. Oh, 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 you scared me. Oh, I, I, uh, okay, I thought so. I thought it was Nahila that was uh, to communicate with me or something. Okay. Nahida. It looks like my consciousness is connected to yours again. Mm -hmm. Jimmy blame me for being a bit too self-indulgent. I was thinking about talking with you, and the next thing I knew, I had made a connection with you. A connection between us is amazing. It's like Flora and the fence it grows upon. Is there anything you need from me? <laughs> wow, how can she, like, make... A connection like that. Hmm. I heard there's an amazing celebration feast today at the Grand Bazaar. I wanted to have a look for myself, so I snuck in. Lately, I've been so busy dealing with all the fallout from recent events, so I really haven't had any free time. Although you've already helped me with a lot, there's still one more thing I hope you can help me with. What is it? Please say thank you to everyone for me. Ah, so that's what this is about. Nahida, it better, it'd be better if you could do that yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's the person that we help. So it should be better if she just came here and tell, and tell everyone a really big thank you. 
not convenient for you to do that for me? Some things in this world must be done by yourself. But if I just show up all of a sudden, people will become all quiet and stiff, won't they? No. What if I end up scaring them and ruining this wonderful feast? That'd be the last thing I want. I don't think that that could happen. I guess they, I could think that they want you here since this is a celebration. Technically for you, for our victory, also for Sino's reinstatement of, as General Mahamatra, you'll be fine. Please don't worry too much. Mm, let me think about it. Mm, okay. That was fast. Have you made up your mind? Yes, I have. That's good. Wait, huh? You oh. said I should go thank everyone as myself, right? So... I've decided to borrow your body for the time being. Please don't blame me. The floor also climbs up to the fence to get closer to the sky. Oh, come on, Ahida. Why did you come this way? You could wait there. Or... Do it yourself, not use my body. Then at least promise you won't say anything weird when you're in my body. Oh boy. What's going on? I didn't expect to have a conversation with the consciousness of Lesser Lord Kusanali in the Grand Bazaar. Interesting. Is this also a part of the feast? No, no, of course not. Are you... Lesser Lord Kusanali? Hello, Nilu. You know who I am? Yes. I already know every one of you. Nilu, I'll hate them. Sino, Dia. Paimon, and Dunyarzad. Lesser... Lord Kusanali? I took the liberty of occupying the Traveler's body so that I could thank all of you in person. Thank you so much for rescuing me, even if that meant placing your own safety in peril and taking the risk of becoming enemies with the Academia. The sages, the doctor, the balladier, and even the entirety of Samiru. Without you, without any of you, I would have been in a much more difficult situation. Had you not helped me to resolve the crisis, not only I, but Samiru and even the entirety of Tevat would have suffered great misfortune. People refer to you as the heroes who managed to rescue a god. I'm quite fond of this name. It not only explains your identities, but also bears witness to your relationship with me. Please, allow me to present to you my most sincere gratitude. Lesser Lord Kusanali, you... You have done so much for Samaru, and I, I... I didn't even have a chance to do anything for you. You don't have to do this. Ten years on. The suffering you endured during your illness is also proof of you being with me and praying for me. Thank you. You don't need to be so ceremonious. It's always been my duty to protect you. This is how the relationship between the Academia and Dendro Archon should be. We just did what was necessary and set things back on the right path. You're an Archon, but you act so humble. You really don't need to be so polite with us. I... I'm honored to have been able to take part in this plan. I hoped you liked the dance I dedicated to you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. See? Just like I said, 
everyone is very happy to meet you. Uh, and it seems like she's out of my body, maybe? Yeah. Oh no, now she's not. That's cool. That's perfect. That's excellent. Okay, um, cow. Ah! Oh, where am I going? Who is the most is a popular dish in summer? Curry, curry in the air, hungry children, it's time to come home. Um. Uh... I think I slept all right. After Nahida left, you ate a lot of food. You've become a glutton. Still, nothing compared to Paimon. Hmm. That just means you still have a lot to learn from Master Paimon, the sage of gluttony. <laughs> all right, since you're awake now, should we go and have a chat with Nahida? She should be in the academia right about now. If you have any questions, now's your chance to ask. Yes, let's ask before going into another. <laughs> Go to the sanctuary of Surasana. All right. Ah, <sighs> but oh boy, what a quite a good like final thing just before we end with this matter. What? We'll, and we also have to like <laughs> have an amazing time with everyone. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh wow. I think I'm <laughs> through this place. How, why did I be, be, why did I have to eat so much food? Was that really tearing of using my body or something, or letting or letting her borrow my body? I I should say. But hey, yo, at least I'm glad that everything turned out well and that everyone praised Les Lesser Lurkus O'Malley for for everything. And yeah. I mean, yes, uh, she's, since she's a, like, the purest branch, that's why she's so, like, innocent, so, and, and dedicated, and everything, kind, generous, everything to us, and to the people in the city, helping everyone, and yeah, thankfully she didn't, even though she, uh, Dunyar that looked down on herself for her illness, at least Nahida didn't stop that way, that was nice of her, too. Okay, now we have to enter the sanctuary. So let's do that. Last but not least, we have to meet with uh, Nahida here, and what will she tell us about? We have few more, uh, a few more questions just, be just before going into the next, like, nation. That's enough. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. <sighs> what a fantastic night. I'm still immersed in all the happiness and joy, like a candle floating on water. So are we, and that's why we're here to talk with you. Is there anything you want to know? Yes, about the Akasha. After recent events, the Akasha can no longer function as it used to. I've given it some thought, and have decided to shut it down permanently. But this is definitely not a bad thing. Even from the beginning, I've been planning to shut it down. 
The Akasha's centralized administration of knowledge has always restrained people's curiosity and curtailed the number of paths available to them. I don't think this is good for Sumeru. Although people may initially feel a little uncomfortable with the loss of the Akasha, they will soon understand that this life is more suitable for them. And as for the future of Sumeru, I'm preparing to regain control of the Academia. The former sages have received their punishment, but the new sages have yet to be selected. I will oversee the process personally. I hope that the new six great sages will be more focused on academics. Sumira needs such leaders more than ever. The other big issue is the people of King Deshret. All the residents of the desert, in fact. They have been mistreated for far too long. I've already taken some measures to address this. It will take some time to rebuild everything. But no matter if it's culture, friendship, or trust, we will rebuild it. That is really good to hear, I must say. Hmm. Okay, flip that thing. No. Well, yes. Yes, in a moment. Um, so, yeah. It is really nice that at least Nahida and is trying her best in order to bring everything back. And yeah, the Akasha was really a like a big wall for the academics and everything. It felt more of an obstacle because they all, everyone in Sumeru, relied on it and was not like the best option if you want to know, if you want to get knowledge or anything. Well, about what happened after I felt asleep that day. You mean, what happened after the doctor put you to sleep? Did he take the gnosis? Not exactly. The top-ranked Fatui Harbingers, up to number three, possess power comparable to that of gods. I was no match for him in that kind of situation. However, in spite of the bad situation, I still managed to make a fair deal with the doctor. I'm sure you remember the entity that changed your fate, the Heavenly Principles. Yes, I remember. In fact, the Heavenly Principles has been quiet since the Conria disaster 500 years ago. I used this point as leverage against the doctor. I told him that the Heavenly Principles may be awakened if I destroyed a Gnosis. Although it was just a bluff, he still fell for it. I assumed that the Heavenly Principles wouldn't just stand by and let such extensive damage to its laws take place. And as for what I exchanged for the Gnosis, the exchange served as both punishment for the Doctor as well as a boon of new knowledge that I couldn't refuse as the God of Wisdom. I still think that was not the best, uh, <laughs> the best deal. Uh, but what can we do now? Now that he has them, then there is no other way. Go to Fontaine and see what awaits uh, us. And it was, yeah, they said something about the heavenly principle. So, uh, but what is that? The, what is the meaning of that? Yeah, the, uh, it, it, they were triggered back then, and that's why everyone was summoned. But. Can they be summoned again by that? Are, are the heavenly principles like able to do that just yet 500 years ago? Well, they did it then, and Nahida is about that age, so. Okay. About, what about the Baladir? What did you do with him? Or. Did, yeah. What about him? He's still in a coma. I've hidden him like how one would hide a feather. I know you have many misgivings about him, but as someone who had become a god, he has retained a number of very useful features. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't do any evil. In addition, there are still some mysteries left in him. Some things may be very clear from my perspective, but he has still yet to understand them himself. His future will be determined by fate. Again, luck. So he said it, it says luck, but I think it's fate. But why is she saying luck? Okay, about Fontaine, the next stop on my journey. Is 
that where you're headed next? Fontaine, the Nation of Justice? As far as I know, that nation operates in a judicial system. Does their Archon personally judge people? No, there's a Chief Justice in Fontaine. Generally speaking, the Hydra Archon, Fosalor, won't preside over individual trials. However, even then, Fosalor will still make herself present at just about every trial. It seems that she just likes to immerse herself in that sort of atmosphere. As Archon, she still reserves the right to influence the final verdict. Anyway, let's just say she's got, uh, a very unique personality. Oh, I'm wondering what you mean by that. <laughs> I don't want to know. Um, so, we already asked about the Akasha, when we fall asleep, about the Balavir, about Fontaine. Nothing else is on my list. Thank you, Nahida. Are you sure? Isn't there something else you haven't asked about yet? Huh? You mean... About your brother. Oh boy. Oh, my brother. <laughs> she knows about my brother. While you were resting at Gandarbaville, I took some time to perform an ermine soul search for information on your brother. But we both came from beyond the Sea of Stars. There shouldn't be any information on him to in Ermon Soul. Mm, on Ermon Soul, you say? How? But I mean, we are not residents from Taibat, so this doesn't make sense. Yeah, isn't Ermon Soul a repository for all the information and memories of Taibat? So there shouldn't be anything on her or her brother. This is true in your case. Ermin Sol indeed does not have any information on you. But wait, he walked, he gave a... He went through Tevat during all those years. However, there must be something different about your brother. Because as it turns out, the world has recorded information on him after all. That's true. They say that one twin woke up and the other one was still asleep. I woke up 500 years after the disaster, but it seems that Ether woke up right, right during those final moments just as A. Well, A arrived at that time. So, yeah, he did say that he already traveled to all of the bat. And I'm like, what? But he did say it. He said that when we first came, when we met him uh, in 1.4, I think, with the issue with, uh, what was his name again? <laughs> well, the, that person from Cambria. There's only one possible explanation. He belongs to this world. Excuse me, what? I can't live without my brother. He can't belong in this world. How is that possible? We journeyed the sea of stars all our lives until we came here. How could he possibly hail from Tevat? Things don't add up. Is there something wrong with my memories? Or is it the world that has done something to him. But nothing about this makes any sense! Wasn't this your first trip to Tevat? Indeed it is. Do you have any further intel? Do you know what he has been through? Mm, further intel. Mm, according to the records I was able to access, your sibling suddenly appeared in Conria. After the Conria disaster, he began his journey through the Seven Nations of Tevat. But just as his journey was about to reach its conclusion, the Ermansel records on him suddenly become fuzzy. What do you mean, fuzzy? Did something happen to him? All I know for sure is that somebody, for reasons only they can know, is deliberately obfuscating his fate. And whoever it is, if they can do that, 
Who knows what else they're capable of? That's true. Could it be related to the abyss? But even that wouldn't explain how he somehow comes from this world. Something else I noticed was that according to these records, the Fatui have not classified your sibling as one of the descenders. Descenders, you say? What's a descender? Paimon's never heard of it. Look, I'm sure you must be curious about the information I received from the Fatui in return for my Gnosis, right? A very important part of the intel was about this world's descenders. External beings, ones that don't belong to this world. Traveler, you are Tavat's fourth descender. What? I am the fourth one? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Huh? So the Batui count three other descenders before the Traveler, and her brother isn't even one of them? That's right. My current hypothesis is that the first descender was likely what we now call the Heavenly Principles. As for the other descenders, I still need to verify their existence. It could take me some time. <sighs> Paimon's head's about to burst from all this crazy new information. I am impressed with what I came up with just now. <laughs> this is... So, I mean, it's not like my first is... My head is bursting. I can't even talk. <clears throat> but I'm... I'm at loss of words again. Oh, this 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 really was the best chapter so far. I really like this chapter so much. Well, at least at this final act, this is really good. And yet, even knowing all this, I'm sure you must still have a lot of unanswered questions. I must say, I truly regret that I can't help you more as the god of wisdom. There are many questions in my heart as well. I will need some time to go through each one of them. Yeah, me too. I'll need some time to reflect of, on what you've said. I mean, yeah, this is a really hard, hard, hard blow. She, she just said that I am a poor descendant, descendant for some reason. And my brother is saying, even though that we are literally twins, how is that even possible? And much more, the Heavenly Principles, Akanria, and everything else, the Fatui skin so that they told them what is going on. And soon, you'll also begin your journey anew and depart from Sumeru. I'm very interested in your future. It's a journey that can't be observed or recorded by this world. If fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. I'm sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. All right, that's enough talk for today. If you ever miss me, just close your eyes. And maybe I'll appear in your dreams. Well, that's nice. And I am level 60! I am 60! Nice! Cash a poster, the rest is on one map. <laughs> yes! Yes, I became Lena finally! They are 60 at the end of Sumeru's final act and, and chapter, probably. Or not, who knows. But, ooh, ooh, we have a lot to take on now. <sighs> and it's really nice that Nahida could appear in my dream since, uh, for if I needed to, like, seek a little of advice from her. Okay, what do you have to say? Nakeda. Is there anything you want to know? Oh, it's oh, it's the same about about my oh. So now I can ask you again about my brother. Okay, uh, no, I Soon, I got nothing. Else. You'll also begin your journey anew and depart from Sumeru. Okay. I'm very interested in your future. It's a journey that can't be observed or recorded by this world. If fate is the ultimate knowledge, then your future will be the ultimate fate. I'm sure glad we got to meet you, Nahida. The pleasure is all mine. I can't thank you enough. Alright, that's enough talk for today. 
If you ever miss me, just close your eyes, and maybe I'll appear in your dreams. So maybe next like update there could be an Archon quest or even a story quest that we build. Maybe not a yeah, a story quest most likely that tell us what will happen with the Baladir. How will he become like a better like good? <laughs> They say I saw something about erasing his mind, but I don't know. Uh, it was just a leak or something. It wasn't explained in the game, though. So, thank you so much for watching. And oh boy, I really love this like final thing from here. Oh, such an interesting lord. <laughs> now it is. But <clears throat> Ooh, I, I really love. From um, experience of a um, chapter of, from the Arkham Quest. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you like this this video, and also leave a comment down below on uh, what did you think on Nah on the Lord that Nahida just dropped on us. I uh, I am really lost in words to just describe what she meant by our brother, the, uh, the what the Fatui told her, everything. In what er she saw in Ermon's soul, we are a descendant? <laughs> what? Okay, so please consider to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss on anything that I will upload because uh, I will play against Platoon 3. I will, I will show what they, they may say on the next Platfest, which is related to Pokemon. And also try to complete like the yeah, and I will also try to complete the story mode as well in there. So th again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.